are over. Thank you, sir. All right, we'll now move into the public uh, wish, citizens wishing to be heard. We take them in the order as they were presented to me. And so we'll move forward. Uh, you have five minutes to say, uh, speak on whatever subject you'd like to speak on. Um, ask that you keep it clear, direct, not direct any specific attention to any of the commissioners or anyone in the audience. Um, just come forward and say what you have and stay based on what the information that you provided as your request to speak on. Our first speaker is Mr. Billy Rowland. Please come forward and for the record state your name and your address please. Thank you Mr. Commissioner. My name is Billy Rowland. I reside at 6470 Rowland Lane, Valdosta, Georgia. Inherited from my mother and dad, it's been in our family since 1917. We're having problems with the grading of Road on Road. Ever whose grading is washboarding the devil out of the road as he goes down. He's not letting the grader have time to set and get in a grade mode and creates a washboard effect on the road. My ne next concern is the removal of my grandson's dog from my property by animal control who cut the lock off of a kennel two years ago that he was in. How do you explain to a two-year-old grandson and a ten-year-old grandson that his dog is gone? The property was completely posted. The dog is in a kennel where nobody can get around him. And he has no reason to bark unless somebody is there. They removed my dog, but yet when I call about a barking dog for the last three weeks that I've been there at the residence, no one, I've been accused of harassing your dispatch office and somebody came out there the other night, one of the deputies demanded I come out of my house like I was a common criminal. Hand on his gun and wanted to know what the uh, was I complaining about. He couldn't hear any dogs. He drove up in the yard, I was laying in the bedroom with the window open and I could hear him when he drove up at the end of the rolling road where it turns into the rolling lane. The dog started barking again, but he couldn't hear it. I guess they have hard hearing. The next question I have a concern about is the grading again of Roland Lane, where it goes down to my mom and dad's old house. When they come up to grade it, they pull the debris right up where it runs into Roland Road, and instead of carrying it out into Roland Road and carrying it down to the road. Consequently, they are rigid, my road, to where it's anywhere from eight, 10 inches on one side. Going down Roland Road from where Roland Lane intersects, if we have to get out of there like we had the other night when the limbs were blown down in the road, it's like a river. There's 18 inches burned. There's no ditch on the left side of the road, just a ditch on the right side of the road. All hours of the night, we are having problems with people coming out spinning circles with golf carts, motorized my motorcycles and this to the point that when Rolling Road runs into Knight's Ferry, you can't even get out of the road. The sand is too deep where they've cut ditches in the road. And we'd like this alleviated if possible. Also, the next concern is the damming of the creek that runs under Rolling Road that is backed up and causing flooding every time we have a severe rain. There's no way for it to run off and get through behind our property over there. This is in turn creating mosquitoes build up on there and creating a problem that we wish to have eliminated, sir. Okay. Anything else? That's it, sir. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Robert. Thank you. 